so we're just wrapping up our forge project here. We've cut the tank, cut uh, 11 inches out of the middle, welded it together, cut a hole for our burner to go in. Uh, we've made a little sliding door here. So this just kind of slides on some little pieces of modified angle that I made. And uh, we put a two by two vent in the back, which is should be enough to vent our three quarter inch burner. And of course the door in the front. And now we're moving on to the insulation process. So we put a uh, one inch thick KO wool or ceramic insulation around the inside. And now we're in the process of lining it with refractory cement. So this is 3000 degree refractory cement. And we're putting um, about an eighth inch on it. So we'll just kind of wrap up that and then we'll move on to the next step. The refractory cement's just starting to set up on us, so before it gets rock hard, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide the fire brick into place here and just kind of seat it on the bottom. Right there. Yeah. I'm just kind of squishing the uh, insulation here. And now we should be able to take that out and replace it if it gets beat up. And now we're just going to wait a little while for this to cure and then we'll uh, put our nozzle in, tack weld it, and touch up the refractory cement. And I'll show you that uh, momentarily. It's finally time to light off the forge. Uh, the refractory cement has cured. It's been a, about a half a day and we've kind of done a pre-burn on it. And the stuff we got, is, it says it doesn't need any time to cure, but we didn't really want to go full throttle on it right away. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and light it off. So I've got the chokes. Uh, I'll probably, I'll put them about halfway open here. And I'm going to set our valve not too, too hard on, probably about a third of the way as high as it goes, so say like 5 PSI or 7 PSI. And then I've got this valve off. So we're going to go ahead and um, as we turn this valve on, we're going to blow this torch in here. So we got our torch lit here. Uh, we brought it into the garage. We tried lighting it outside, which worked well, but um, with the crosswinds going through the Venturi-style burner, it was getting a little bit of, like, buffeting. Um, so we've got it in here with the garage door open, kind of out of the wind. Uh, and we've put a, uh, a file in it, which seems to be heating up really, really hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. got a good red red hot or orange even hot file here that I think with a little bit of hammering would, could be turned into a knife. But all said and done the burners are uh, really really burning great. Uh, very little tuning and everything's just burning awesome. Uh, so if you want to build a little forge like this really not too hard. Of course we use this crazy air tank that we welded but you can do something like this pretty easily with a paint can or uh, even better, an old propane tank. Um, just be careful because, of course, it's, you know, everything about it's kind of dangerous. So you really want to respect the thing and uh, take proper safety precautions. And, um, and uh, if you don't know what you're doing, maybe don't try it. But great little project. Um, if you want to see any updates, make sure you click the little subscribe button in the corner and uh, click the bell if you want to get notified for new videos. Thanks for watching.